Hi, this is Kevin Grawlington and welcome to another video in the Summer Summary Series. Now, in this video I'm going to show you a quick drill, maybe one or two, that you can start using that I think will dramatically increase the level of your fitness on the court. Okay? Why is fitness so important? Well, tennis is a game where you're going to have to do a lot of running. Okay? And I think sometimes we get that confused. It's the type of running that you're going to do that you really need to focus on. So I hear a lot of players when they go out and say, you know, I'm going to work on my fitness today. I'm going to go run five miles. Great. Five miles is great. I think that's in great to help improve your endurance for, let's say, those long drawn up matches. And I don't, uh, I think it's good to go out and, and run like five miles, maybe once a week or something, you know, unless you're a hardcore and, you know, we can do another video for that. But this is for a general purpose, you know, and this will help a lot of players. You don't need to focus too much on running a lot of crazy long distances. Maybe, and when I say crazy, I mean like if you're doing every day, you're running five miles, uh, I think you could better use your time. I think like maybe two times a, a, a week if you want to go out and run some long distance running, that's great. I personally think tennis is about recovery, okay? Think about what the type of running you're going to be doing on a tennis court. Hardcore sprinting to a, a location on the court, loading up your legs, hitting, and then running back and forth. You know, uh, a stat that I think uh, was like Craig O'Shaughnessy put out, and I've heard it a lot of different times, and I've seen it a lot of different times, is that the maximum, usually on average, the maximum amount of rallies for most uh, uh, professional players is four bowls. Okay? Yeah, I know we get the, those points where they're going back and forth and it's crazy, but on average, it's four bowls. Okay? Now, depending on your level, I think that number jumps. Okay? You know, I see junior players a lot of times. I would say their number, uh, I was watching the boys' 14s a lot uh, this year, their number would probably be between uh, six and eight bowl rallies. That's on average where they have to really go hard six to eight balls. So what that means is you're going to play a point, you get a very limited amount of time to recuperate, and you have to play another hard sprinting point. So the type of fo uh, focus or type of sprinting or moving that I think you should be focusing on is recovery uh, fitness. And what I mean by recovery is not recovering back to the center of the court, but recovering your heart. So I set up a little situation here where you notice how I have a center cone and I have two wide cones. And what I'm going to do this is do some shadow stroking, uh, probably depending on your level. What I would say I recommend is let's say do shadow stroking uh, six to ten balls. Uh, and you know if you want to really start pushing yourself, do twelve. You know after twelve, I think you know you, you kind of lose it. But I mean if you really want to push it, fifteen. But I would never go over fifteen because how many times do you play back to back fifteen ball rallies? The thing we want to focus on is really getting where you can play a hard fought point and then be ready to go in twenty seconds. So I'm not going to do this all because I don't want to be winning on camera, but I'm going to do some of it. So what I would do here is focus on starting here, and all I'm going to do is hit an open stance forehand and an open stance backhand. Now we can do this in a, a lot of different combinations. A lot of times I'll go out with a player and do this exact same drill, and I'll just have them do forehands. So it'll look like this. They'll go over, boom, 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 boom. Now. I will say, I don't usually put the cone there. I'm cheating a little bit today, keep it on camera. I put it probably a little bit closer to the sideline so there's more distance they have to run. So I did two there. I would normally do about eight to 10. You know, when I used to play uh, college tennis and I went to Europe and played a lot of tournaments, I would do these type of drills um, over and over again to help me with my fitness. So let me give you an example. I'll do six of them. And all we're gonna do is where I'm gonna go out, boom, recover, boom, recover, Three. Okay, I've kind of lost track. I'll do one more just in case. Okay, boom. You feel your heart rate, I feel mine. So then I would time and make sure I give myself about 20 seconds. Now, depending on where your level of fitness is, you don't have to start with 20 seconds. So if you don't do fitness a lot, don't go out and try this and go, oh my God, you're dying after 20 seconds. Give yourself a longer bit of time. Again, one other preference. I am. Oops, I am not a doctor. You know, make sure you check with your physician before you try to do this if you don't do fitness, okay? I'm not a doctor, I'm a tennis coach. So check it with your physician before you do any of this so you don't come back and go, oh my God, you're killing me, okay? So back to the drill. I would do this, give myself 20 seconds if you're used to doing fitness. If you're not, start off with about 30 or 40 seconds. Work yourself up and taking the time down between the points. And then I do it over and over again, okay? So I would do this drill where I would do the forehand side only 
and I would do it probably four times. Then I would do the same thing on the backhand side. So whether you're one handed or two handed, you know, I might go open stance, cross over, or I might even work on my closed stance and come back and do the same thing. If you could do this four times on the forehand side alone, four times on the backhand side, and then you can even do both sides and do maybe eight balls. So it'd look like this. One, split, two, split, boom, split, boom, and come back eight times and then have that same break. Again, these are close to so fit it on camera. I would probably spread these out a little bit more. This would really help with your fitness because what we're working on is recovering after you play a long, hard fought point, okay? If you can recover better and make sure after you play a long, hard fought point, you're ready, you're in 10 seconds, you're like, whew, I'm ready to go. Well, you're gonna start breaking your opponent down because more than likely they're not gonna be able to do the same thing. And this is super simple and still continue to run your long distance, you know, twice a week or so. But this is where I think you can get the most benefit, unless you're working with a trainer, obviously, or you have some real regimented fitness program, okay? So this is Kevin Garlington at TotalTennisDomination.com. Hope you enjoyed this video. This is part of the summer summary uh, video. Um, and make sure you leave a comment below and a like if you enjoyed this video. See ya.